Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Daniel Rosal here. I want to do a video today on how to uh, create an animated lower third uh, for use in Caden Live and creating it using Canva. So yeah, this is a pretty uh, niche software stack, if you will, that I'm using. If you are using Caden Live, there's a good chance you are using Ubuntu Linux. Um, but the good thing about Canva, I'm sure there's a way to do to create an animated lower third using a blender or something like that desktop in other words desktop software for ubuntu but um, i like canva because it's in the cloud and therefore it can be easily accessed no matter what platform you are using um so what i'm going to do i, I decided i'm going to create a little story uh for this project just to make it a bit more realistic um i'm going to create an lower third animated lower third as if it's uh some kind of a cooking show about new york city or let's call it uh david's uh sees new york right so the first thing I've done, I went onto Pexels and I searched for New York City, uh, filtered on videos, and I found this random stock footage of uh, either is that Empire State or Chrysler. Um, I think it's pretty impressive for stock footage, I must say, uh, that's free to use. So I've just grabbed this from uh, Pexels. Obviously, this is just for demonstration purposes. This is not a real video I'm even creating here, but uh, this will, it's about a 20 second clip. So there's plenty of time. Uh, for us to put up our animated lower third and to have it fade out and then I'll put that video at the end of this demonstration Next element I went on to uh, this person does not exist and I uh, Generated a random AI headshot. This will be Dave as in Dave uh, sees New York and uh, just to really kind of uh, you know uh, Have a few graphic elements to integrate here. I got a, a random clip art picture of the Statue of Liberty and that should be enough for our lower third so what I'm going to do now is start on Canva. Now, firstly, this is a free Canva account. I do have a paid Canva uh, for work, but I set this uh, up right now just for the purpose of this YouTube video. So it's a, it's a free unpaid account. Um, if you have pro, you're able to do uh, transparent backgrounds. Personally, I actually like the manual method better, um, but that's just my preference. So um, if you're looking to avoid upgrading for whatever reason, then you can do it like this, or you can use Transparent on Pro, but I prefer to chroma key stuff. Um, so here's how it's going to go down. The first thing is, um, now you can replace the background using the button I just dropped in a box, maybe that was unnecessary, but this is going to be uh, the chroma key layer at the bottom here. So there is a standard color i looked up green uh green green screen color so i typically use uh you know your classical green for chroma keying and this is its color now the important thing is that you want to note the color because you're going to want to do we'll see later in caden live that it should be the same color exactly so that's really important so i'm going to change this gray over to this and as you can see that's kind of your classic green screen color it's a bit less neon maybe than some other ones but it doesn't matter so long as you know exactly what shade if you just hit this guy you will get um you will get the color but uh, your, your results are not going to be as good as if you when we go into Caden live and we say hey this is exactly um the the hex code or the color that we want to chroma key out okay so um this is going to be a five second video and so far all we have is our chroma key layer uh, you can adjust that time. I'm just going to do a five second one uh, just, to, just, just to make this pretty simple. But it is going to be animated. So I'm going to go like something like this. I'm going to have kind of a lower, th it's going to like pop in like this. And I'm going to put my elements here. I'm going to say, what did I want to call my show? Dave eats new, oh, let's just do NYC. So there's a bit of room for the other elements. And now I'm gonna upload my um, other elements into Canva. Okay, so I've gone ahead now, or I'm going ahead, upload is in progress, and uh, they are now in my Canva library. So I'm gonna put the little, uh, you know, headshot of uh, our fake Dave here. And of course, the only problem with green screening is that if you're gonna have green, that would be a problem. So you wanna use a color that's not gonna appear in your lower third, uh, because if there was this exact shade of green in any of the pixels here, those would be chroma keyed out and it would end up looking super weird. So Dave Eats NYC, uh, your guide to dining in the Big Apple. This is clearly just for the purposes of uh, a demo. Um, and I'm just gonna, you know, stretch that out a little bit. And finally, what did I say? I wanted our 
uh, clip art, yeah, transparent background, Statue of Liberty. Now, the reason I, I wanted to add all these elements was I wanted to do like animate them in one by one. Um, so if you right click on any element, you can click on animate. So, and it'll give you a little preview. So let's say uh, Dave is gonna like pop in from the left. Um, I'm gonna uh, group our graphics and apply the same animation so that they're gonna like slide in at once. Um, all right, let's let them do that thing. And then finally the Statue of Liberty can be photo flow. Okay, so now I've gone into Caden Live and uh, what I'm going to do is put those two things on the uh, clipboard. Now this is actually really important. If you, in my experience, if you use, I use prox, I edit with proxy clips normally and in my experience it can create problems when you're dealing with animation. So I'm actually gonna turn off proxy clipping on both of these things. So let's see, firstly we have our uh, drone footage of um, this building in New York. And now what I'm going to do is uh, put our animation that we downloaded from Canva on top of it. Now, anyone, as you know, if you work in uh, Caden Live, whatever is on the top layer is going to be what comes up and that's gonna obscure what's beneath it. So what we need to do now, so I'm just gonna crop, I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna add a little fade in and a little fade out and I'm gonna crop our uh, stock footage here and I'm gonna just give a little fade on that too. And now what we need to do is chroma key out the green. So I'm gonna go for a chroma key basic. I'm gonna drag that effect onto, um, looks like I have two for some reason, that's strange. Maybe I clicked twice by mistake. All right, and in the preview window, we can see basically that so far, this is not going to, this chroma keying is not gonna work out because we're chroma keying on the wrong color. So what we wanna do is change, and this is why I mentioned Using a specific color, I'm going to copy and paste from my clipboard and that's chroma key, that's the green screen. And now you can see it's pretty much good. Um, so let's just play this, see how it looks. So one, one final thing to say is that you may need to play around with the variance a little bit. So what I typically do, cause it's hard to see on this little preview window is I pop this guy open in a side window and you just wanna toggle this until you can see any green. So I just need to turn it up a tiny bit more and I'm sorry you guys didn't see that because it was in a separate screen than when I'm recording but there was just like one pixel worth of green not chroma keyed out around here and I just got that so that is good I'm going to render this now and uh, show you guys how that looks and that's basically all there is to it um, using Canva to create an animated lower third um, and then uh, making sure that you uh, you note down the color you're using, bringing that in to Caden Live using the chroma key. I just use the chroma key basic uh, uh, um, effect and then I, I set my color key to the exact shades of color I used in Canva, making sure that wasn't in my graphic element. And finally, I needed to tweak the variance a tiny bit just to make sure that uh, there wasn't any of the chroma key color visible. And if you go too far, then you'll go you'll too far in either direction it'll be wrong. So you just need to open that in a full screen window and make fine adjustments until you nail it. And once you have it nailed, you know, um, it's probably good for, uh, for different clips approximately. Hope this video was useful. Thank you guys for watching. More videos from me are coming soon.